Changes could be coming to your favorite soap or face wash. Microbeads, commonly used to exfoliate skin, are now banned. President Obama signed, an on an, signed off on a bipartisan bill that says you can't buy or sell any product containing them. The new law is aimed at keeping the beads out of our nation's waterways. Channel 4's Heather Lee joins us live on this story that's been getting a lot of attention. It sure has, Melanie. So, you know, basically the reason why these microbeads are banned is because researcher, researchers say they're so tiny. I went ahead and put some in my hands so you can see, and they're very, very little tiny beads. And what they're saying is they are making it through the filters and, and they aren't being caught at waste management facilities. And that means that they're ending up in the St. John's River and other places like it. Boy, do they make your skin feel so soft. Those little plastic beads designed with good intentions, but environmentalists say they are damaging our waterways. Well, we live before microbeads. We can live um, after. A statement even the president of the United States agrees with. At the start of the year, President Obama signed a bipartisan bill to ban selling and buying products with microbeads. Dr. Quentin White, executive director at Jacksonville University's Marine Science Institute, says they don't degrade. They persist for what we think are going to be decades, if not centuries. Dr. White says that's a long-term effect. Right now, he says marine life are seeing the brunt of it all. For some animals, these, they get into the food chain or they get into their gut, and whereas it might take one or two days for normal food to move through, these can take weeks for this plastic to move through the system. According to researchers, 8 trillion microbeads are being pumped into our waterways every single day. To give you an idea, that's enough to cover 300 tennis courts. Lisa Reinemann, the St. John's Riverkeeper, says they know there are microbeads in our waterways locally. What happens is when it goes down the drain or goes, you know, it goes to a water treatment facility, and that water treatment facility is designed to cleanse the water, but not to that degree. And so these tiny plastics are getting through, and it discharges to the St. John's River. And I bet you didn't know this. You're, you're eating it all the time, you don't even realize it. That's because they end up in our aquifers, too, which is our water supply. The new legislation calls for manufacturers to get rid of the beets by 2017. Now, there again are so many alternatives to exfoliation. You can use salt and sugar scrubs, and of course, those do eventually break down in the water. So it's not necessarily goodbye exfoliation, it's just goodbye plastic. Now, JU says that they will be uh, conducting some testing in the St. John's River, and they are asking for volunteers to help out with this effort. If you are interested, we posted a link on how you can do so on our website. That's newsfordax.com. For now, we're live. Heather Lee, Channel 4, The Local Station. There 